Hey guys, I'm EP Guy here, and in this video, I'm gonna try to model this domestic water system for this fitness center as fast as I possibly can. Now, I've already placed my custom plumbing fixtures inside this model, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all these piping network, and I'm also going to delete the systems. So I'm gonna do that real quick and fast forward for you guys. So let's get this thing started. I'm gonna be using keyboard shortcuts throughout this video. So the first keyboard shortcut I'm gonna use is connect into. So I'm gonna just select my fixture and use CT for connect into. And I'm going to be using that command quite a bit and keyboard shortcuts to make my modeling much faster. And so I'm just using the connect into command with my custom fixture and it's making things go pretty fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the water closets next. So I'm gonna select them. Now I can create a piping system so I can use that. And then we'll just select our domestic cold water here. And we can just use the first connectors just like that. And then we have a little system. We can use generate layout command and that will um, create a layout. We have to edit the solution a little bit. So we're gonna change this to two feet, hit okay. And then that drives my piping down so I can finish it off. Now I just have to move this into the back of this chase right here, maybe to a point right there. And then we can just use create similar and we'll start drawing from our main right here. Go to a point about right here and we'll just use delete, which I have a keyboard shortcut for D and then we'll just trim these to this and then we'll trim this to this. So that does that and I'll do it the long old fashioned way right here. So I'm gonna start at my last fixture. So I'm gonna start drawing some pipe. I'm just gonna zoom in right here and we'll start drawing the pipe from here and we'll go to a point about right there and then we'll drop it down to two feet and we'll just go to a point right here. Let's actually move this back a little bit. We can use our align command and align this to this. And then we'll just click this fixture right here, go from this point and draw a pipe and we'll just drop it down to this one. And then we can use connect into to make our connection to the mains right here. So we can use that command again, selecting our water. And the last one, we could just do it the old fashioned way if we want and just draw the piping right into there. Again, we want to start our piping from the main in this situation and then just drop it down to this. So that one is complete. So the next one we can do is maybe we will do these lavatories real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can do it the old fashioned way if we want. So I can just start drawing some piping from here. And this time we wanna be in the wall and I'm gonna go from this way to this way. And then we can use our connect into command and select the right cold water connection and I can use the keyboard shortcut and we'll just be clicking just like that. And then we wanna go from our main, create similar and Revit will automatically align those together. And in this situation, we actually have the same kind of setup for each. So I'm only gonna do it one time and then I'm gonna copy it over. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this fixture right here and we'll do the same thing. We'll just start from the end here and we'll just draw our hot water piping. And this time I'm gonna draw a little further out and we'll go to this spot right here. And then we can easily just go from the fixture by selecting the right connector point and just draw a pipe into it. We can actually draw it from our main here so we can use the create similar button. And you can see Revel will actually snap to that connection point. And then we just need to make sure we hit the right connector. So we have this set up and I wanna copy this over. So I'm gonna actually delete these. And then I wanna see where they exist. So I'm gonna turn on the architecture or view. So I'm gonna use the turn on the reveal hidden elements right here. And so I wanna make all these piping connections and we want to copy from maybe this fixture. So I'm gonna use my keyboard shortcut for copy. And then we are gonna copy it over to here, just like that. And then I can turn off reveal hidden elements. And now I can make the connection to my main using the trim extend command, just like that. And we have to bring these uh, hot water lines up. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll create similar. And I'm actually gonna draw it at, maybe let's use nine foot two. And we'll go from this point over and see how it snaps for us nicely. And then we can actually bring this one up. So we'll go from our main, create similar. We need to make sure it's snapping correctly, just like that. And that looks pretty good. We actually have to continue this uh, hot water piping over to these lavatories right here. So let's do that. So let's delete this little guy. And then we'll just drag this and use our trim extend command, just like that. And then we can use connect into to make the connection. So I'm gonna use connect into. We're gonna select our hot water connection that's in the vertical right here. 
and we'll just click on this piece right there and we'll just use connect to it again. I'll just use the keyboard shortcut this time and we'll select that vertical connector and we'll click that. So now we have those done. The last thing we have to do is these showers right here. So I'm actually gonna select all of them and use the little piping button up here. And we're just gonna use the hot water system. We need to make sure we select the right connector. So I'm just selecting the vertical one. As you can see, we lost this little guy. So we actually have to add to this piping system. We could do that pretty easily. We'll just add to the system and we'll just make sure we select this little guy, select the correct connector. And now that one is added to the system. And then we'll just tab into that system and we're gonna use the generate layout command for this. So we're doing the hot water system. Now we want to bring this piping up to nine foot two. So let's do that. Let's do nine space two. And for our branch, we want nine space two. We'll hit okay. And that brings it up like this. Now I want to make sure the hot water is on the left side. So I'm going to just go ahead and we're gonna edit this layout. And then you can actually select one of these pieces and just bring it out. So I have to bring it there first, then I can bring it this way. And then we'll just do the same thing. Snap that right there. That looks good. And we can just use the finish layout button and our hot water is done. Now I can make a little modification to this if I want. I could bring it in like this and that looks good. Now we need to do the cold water so we can select our showers. As you can see, I can't select them this way. So let me use a box like this. And then we are gonna create another piping system. We use the domestic cold water this time, okay? And then again, I need to make sure I select this vertical connector right here. And now that we have that, we can use our generate layout command again. And as you can see, it's back down to two feet. So we need to make it nine foot two, change the branch to nine foot two. And this time it's going the correct way from the start. So we'll just finish the layout and then we'll bring this over and then we'll trust, just try to make these look consistent. That looks pretty uh, consistent and good. So I'm going to use this and we want to make our connections to the main so we can use this side or we could do this side. So let's just zoom in over here. I'm just going to delete this fitting right here and delete this one right here and we'll just bring this over. Now it's highlighting my tub shower fixture so I need to tab and make sure it deselects that. Oh, I realize this is at nine foot two and my main is at nine feet. So I need to bring this main to nine feet. So I'm gonna bring this piece and this piece and we're just gonna bring it to nine feet right here, just like that. And then we'll just make that connection so we can easily right click, draw a pipe and we'll just click it to that piece. Let's bring this out and we'll right click. We'll just use create similar, that's fine and make that connection right there and make sure we use our trim command. Select that piece of pipe. We we'll use our trim extend command again and we'll tab into this piece of pipe right here and connect it to that one. That looks pretty good. So now we have all of those showers connected up. Now, these showers are literally a mirror of these so I actually can utilize all of these and we can just take all these and we'll just deselect the little fittings right there. And I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna mirror them, I'm gonna copy and then rotate them. So we use rotate and this time we're gonna copy it. I'm gonna move this axis over and we'll go from this point to this point, just like that. And then we can select all of our showers over here and we're just gonna move those from this little center piece and then we'll make sure we put it right here. And we wanna delete these fixtures first before we do this. So let's go ahead and delete these. So we'll select them, hit the delete command, then we'll select all of our shower network piping and we'll move it and we'll move it from the center back of this little shower head to the position right here. So that looks pretty good. And then we can easily just move this piping right here. Now if we go to that side, it will automatically make that, move that over. And we can do the same thing here. Just move that over. And we can literally just trim these together. So I'll use the trim extend command and we'll just trim those together. Now sometimes it looks a little cleaner when you aren't overlapping your piping. So maybe we do something like that and that looks nice. And let's just zoom out in our 3D view so you guys can see all this. And we've essentially finished our plumbing design for the domestic water systems for this entire little model. So the last thing we would want it to do is uh, size all of our piping so I can easily just tab into all the pipes right here. And the first thing we wanna do is make sure the sizing techniques are correct. So if I use my properties, 
I'm going to go into the piping systems button right here and we're going to edit the type. And I just want to make sure that flush valves is selected right here for the flow conversion method. It is, so I'm going to hit OK. And then I can quickly size this. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to size it for flush valves. So I'm going to go back to right here and we're just going to hit the duct pipe sizing tool. And we're going to match the connector size and size it per 8 feet per second. Hit OK. And then the next thing we would need to do is select all of the pipes that are not going to be sized per flush valve. So all the showers, the lavatories, and then these tank fixtures over here. So the way I would do that is I can just select the piping. Oh, actually, I'm going to select all the piping again, and I'm just going to deselect these water closets right here because I don't need to size these again. So I'm going to just hold shift here, hold shift here, and then the mains I don't need to size again. So we're going to go ahead and deselect this piece and then deselect all the mains up into this point. So now you can see only the showers and lavatories and this network of piping to these flush tank type toilets are selected. So now, again, we would go to piping system. I'm going to make sure I go to edit type. And then this time we're gonna change it to tanks because that's how we want to size this. And now I can go back to my select and we'll use the duct pipe sizing tool, size it for eight feet per second and we'll match the connector size. And now we're essentially done with the cold water. Now the hot water is a little easier. Now I can just literally tab into all these pieces Go to my duct pipe sizing tool again but this time since it's hot water we want to size it to maybe like four or five feet per second depending on what your standard is so i'm just going to use five for this and then uh, we've essentially sized that so we're essentially finished with this uh, drawing now all of this comes down to the fact that i'm using these custom plumbing fixtures and if you want to get your hands on these you can get them with my course plumbing 101 and if you want to see me model the entire sanitary vent system make sure you check out the next video